Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one, and welcome to the Dragon Ball game ranking extravaganza, whatever the hell you want to call it. So basically, if you're a fan of the channel, you know I've been playing the Tenkaichi series, right? In preparation for Sparking Zero. But, I have played, I, I want to say most of the other games. I want to say most, probably not most, but at least a couple of those. And I want to give my thoughts on them, because some of them are pretty damn goat. Um, so yes, I found this one. It's got the uh, Z through D, and I added the no opinion section, because some of these I will have no opinion on. Either I've not seen it at all, or I've never played it, or stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I think that's me rambling done, let's just get, let's just get started. And, oh boy. Yeah, so, so for the first, the first good bit of these, I'm not gonna have nothing to say, cause like, what's, what's this? Is that the first ever one? Is that the first ever one on, uh, on Famicom? Yeah, I'll, I'll know what to tell you, I, I, I don't know. I think I saw Syriax play this once. It looked all right, I guess. I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna do this. Yeah. Little little bit of a rough start, but you didn't come here for these. You know you didn't, so it's fine. I don't even know what these ones are supposed to be. The ones without the little, like, paddle at the top. So let's just get to the first one that we actually know. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. We got Revenge of King Piccolo on the Hui. This game came out at a very weird time because, uh, well, OG Dragon Ball was not getting games at this moment in time. It just, it just wasn't, so it was, it was kind of weird that it did, on the Wii, especially. As far as I remember, this started at Red Ribbon Army, so it wasn't even like the whole thing. So kind of, kind of weird. But, from what I can remember, this was pretty good. It was just like a beat-em-up platformer kind of thing. It, it reminded me of Advanced Adventure if that's on here somewhere and uh yeah i think uh overall i'll give it like a b you know it was pretty good but it could have been better i think it did have like cool cutscenes and stuff i remember that but i th i think i'll give it a b for right now all right what we got up next is this Dragon Ball Heroes? I have this one. I know for a fact I've played this one. This is World Mission, I think, on the Switch. I mean, it's it's Heroes. It's a card game. It's cool that they have a lot of characters, but the card game itself, I I couldn't even beat the story. I played this like. 15, 20 hours. I really wanted to get through it. I just could not. It is not for me. But I'm not going to say it's bad. So I think in my personal opinion, I have to give it C. Because, like, I'm just... I'm not a card guy. You're not going to see me playing Yu-Gi-Oh! or the Pokemon. I'm not, I'm not doing it. That's, uh... Yeah, but I will give the fan service. The fan service is nuts. And I think that's uh, about all I have to say on that. So now we got... Is this Final Bout? I think, I think this is Final Bout. I mean... It's, it's just... This whole game's existence is just strange. It's so weird. 
I'm pretty sure this came out in America before Z had ended. So they were like, what the hell is a GT? And then everyone had like different voice actors and stuff. And it kind of looks weird. The game itself has a weird art style. This whole thing is just an enigma to me. I don't know why it exists. I gotta give it a D. D. Also, why? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I don't know why. There we go. I, I know for a fact we're gonna need this. I know for a fact. Okay, what we got up next? Is this Budokai 1? Budokai 1. The very first. A 2D fighter. I like the, the art style. It's a little strange compared to the other ones, but it has its own charm. I like how it looks. And you know, it's a... It's a 2D fighting game. It, it's not hard to mess them up, but you don't really see many examples of them being messed up. This one is a completely serviceable fighting game. Story mode was hard as balls, though. I will give it that. Also one of the few to have, like, Buff Cell. Remember he had that form? One of the very few games to have it. Um... I will give it. Okay, this is this is where it's starting to get a little tricky. Budokai One will get. I'll give it an A. I'll give it an A. You know, there's definitely better stuff, but for what it is, I I very much enjoy it. With up next we got Budokai 2, uh, it's basically the same thing, I'm just gonna put it right above it. Budokai 2, it's just Budokai, but more, you know, and uh, it had the What If Fusions, it had freaking Tiensha, hell yeah. So yeah, it's just a straight, a straight step up. And then I'm pretty sure, what is this? Okay, yeah, this is the... The Japanese version of Budokai 2, which had bonus stuff in it, like Nekomajin. So again, it's 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 Budokai 2, but with more stuff in it. So I have to I have to put it there. It's it's just a, a straight increase from right here. And speaking of that, I believe Budokai 3 gets our very first Z. This one, goddamn. Oh my lord. It took everything from the past ones and then just cranked it up to 117. The story mode, the characters, the animations, the graphics, all of it was. Take that what you will. And it. yeah. It's Budokai 3, what the hell else do I have to say? Also, I can see over here, they have the Budokai Collection separate? Um... It's just Budokai 1 and 3. But they changed the OST because of the whole plagiarism thing. And you know what? I'm gonna say it here. I don't give two shits about the plagiarism thing. I really don't. The music was good. That's all that matters to me. They could have settled that, you know, court, whatever the hell. I don't care. I'm not the one who made the music. I just liked the music. And I, I didn't like that they changed it. So the, the HD collection... I mean... I wouldn't say it's as good as regular 3. But it's still 3. It still has three in it, so I guess I have to, I have to give it a Z. I think that only makes sense. Alright, here we go, Tenkaichi 1. The first game that's actually on the channel. Little, little plug there, go check out the Tenkaichi 1 playthrough. It uh, was pretty good, I believe. 
I laid the groundwork for the rest of the beautiful series. And, uh... While... The game itself is not... That great. It has a certain charm, you know? It's not like I hate it. I will probably play this again, maybe, at some point, in my own time. You know, I don't... It's not like an offensive game, but it's not, like, perfect. I will... I'll give it a B right under Revenge. It, it just, it had to lay the groundwork, you know, the, fir the first 3D Fighter one. It's not bad, but it could be better. Which is why Tenkaichi 2... Oh! Tenkaichi 2 goes up here. Hmm. Yeah, Tenkaichi 2 goes up here. Do I really have to say much more? Another plug, go check out the Tenkaichi 2 playthrough. It's still going on. I'm like right in the middle of the Boo Saga. The most like robust story mode out of the, the old gen Dragon Ball games. Bas basically ramped up everything from one. And uh, and yeah. And also the opening is pretty good. And then we got Tenkaichi 3. Do you do you have do you have to say anything? Huh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, this is hard. Ooh, this is hard. Um Do I like Tenkaichi 3 more or Budokai 3 more? I like Tenkaichi more. I don't know, I just, I prefer 3D fighters. 2D fighters are cool, but I, I personally prefer 3D fighters. So yeah. Now, do you want me to give a whole spiel on Tenkaichi 3? I'm not gonna, because it's Tenkaichi 3. Everything's already been said. It's Tenkaichi 3. Literally like the peakest of peak 3D arena fighter. Let's hope Sparking Zero capitalizes on it. We will see. Alright, so now we got Budokai 4, uh, Infinite World. Really weird that people don't talk about this one more. This one also has a really good story mode. And it's it's Budokai 4. It's it's Budokai 3 with more stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I prefer Infinite World to Budokai 3. It's just, it's just better. It's just, yeah. Fight me if you want, but that's what I believe. This, this one. You see the one I'm holding in my cursor right now? Sagas. This weird, weird ass game. I, 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 I don't, I don't know. Very one of the the few ones to have one armed future Gohan. A little cool fun fact for you right there. In some mystical, cosmic sense, I do have some love in my heart for this game. But not that much. It's going in D above Final Bout. You know, you can you can gleam some entertainment and fun from it, so I will give it that. Now, if it's the intended way to have fun, I'm not sure about that. But it's... yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to talk about it anymore. How are there so many of these? Alright, what's up next? What is this?
I think that's Super Dragon Ball Z on the PS2. I believe that's what this is. If I can see the, the logo right here. This one? This one is very, very much not talked about. One of the very few you can play as World Tournament Chi Chi. Do you really want it? Do, do you really want it? It's like... It's like... Tekken? It's a 3D fighter, but it plays like a 2D fighter with a bunch of combos and special moves and stuff. This one's weird to me. I think people like it, from what I've heard. But I myself... The eh... Uh, I'll give it a C above Heroes. It's not... I don't think this one's for me, but people do like it. So I'll at least give it that. Alright, what the hell is this? Luffy? Naruto? Battle Stadium Dawn? Cool that they included this one. Battle Stadium Dawn? is like a Smash Bros with Dragon Ball One Piece and Naruto on the PS2. This one's pretty damn cool, I'm not gonna lie. This was like the precursor to the jump games. Before Ultimate Stars, before J-Stars, before Jump Force, this was the first one, I'm pretty sure. Unless there was like some weird, obscured NES one, I don't know. But this one was pretty cool. I think I'm giving it A. And I think I'm putting it above Budokai 1. That's, that's just me. I don't know, this one's pretty damn schnazzy. And I, I love crossover games. I love them very much. And they had a pretty good roster too. It was pretty sizable from just having three series. Uh, yeah. That's, that's where it's going. First Limit. First Limit is underrated. Saying it right now. First Limit is the PS3 Gen Budokai. It basically plays the same and it was just undercooked. They needed more time and more budget. They only got to sell Saga. But it was pretty damn good for how far they got. So I think... Hmm... I will give this... I'll give it an A right below Budokai 1. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes that makes sense to me. Cause like, if you if we directly compare them, Budokai One only got to sell, but then Burst Limit again only got to sell, and it was a whole console generation after. So like, yeah, I, I, I uh, it should have been better. It should have been. It had potential, but mmm. Alright, what is up next? What's this one? Raging Blast 1. Raging Blast 1. Where the hell do I put you? Huh. Raging Blast. People might get on me about this, but it's basically the PS3 Gen Tenkaichi. Reused moves, reused voice clips, reused a lot of stuff. But some some people they don't have they don't like it. Personally for me, Raging Blast 1, I don't have that much memory with. I don't have that feeling with it. So I'll put it top of B and then Raging Blast. Who I will put it I will put it above the the Budokai 2 2. That's where I'll put Raging Blast 2. 
2-2. I really liked how Raging Blast had the Galaxy story mode. That was very interesting to me. Every single character basically got their own sort of fights. Even the weird red man from Cooler Squadron. Also, that's another thing. That's another bonus in Raging Blast 2's court. They had some of the weirdest characters. They had the other members of Cooler's Armored Squadron. Androids 14 and 15? You're never gonna play as them. They had Hachiak right there. And I think it was like the first English whatever of revenge, eradicate, plan to eradicate the Sands. Free movie, basically, that came with the game. And it had Super Saiyan 3, Vegeta, and Burl. So, Raging Blast 2 kind of goaded. I like it. But it can't, it can't go above these ones. As much as it's pretty good. We don't. We don't talk about this one. It had good stuff, sure, but uh, we don't we don't talk about this one. Good OST, but no, just just no. Damn liar. All right, here we go. Our very first game where we started to get into super. Well. Battle of Gods, because Super didn't exist yet, it was a Z movie, but new current gen Dragon Ball was begun with Battle of Z. They they were really in their experimenting arc in, uh, in these times, because what the hell is the gameplay of Battle of Z? I mean, it's fun. It, 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 it is, and I'll tell you this right now, a little, little secret, little secret, I do plan on playing Battle of Z for the channel, so watch out for that eventually. Yeah, as my opinion right now, it did have the Sage Mode Goku costume, which was pretty cool, and it did have giant fights. Hmm. I'll give it a B. Above King Piccolo. That's where I'll put Battle of Z. It's not bad. It's it's weird, but it's not a bad thing. You know, there is enjoyment to be had. So that is what I will say. All right, now we're getting to the current ones. Actually, what the hell are these ones after? Um, I don't know this one. Oh, Lord. Uh, da, 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 da. what are these? Game Boy? I don't, I don't know what these ones are on, on Game Boy. But I think that's the, that's the only ones left that I don't know. Yes, okay. So the no opinion category is now filled out. Xenoverse 1! Xenoverse 1. Whatever you want to say on Xenoverse, it did kind of rejuvenate a lot of life into Dragon Ball. You gotta admit it. And this definitely was the first one to have uh, Blue and Golden Frieza in it. Be it it was DLC, but it was our first exposure to the the whole Xeno stuff, like Trunks and Cronoa and all that, and the bird, the the weird ass bird, yes. But it's Xenoverse one. No one, no one is coming back to this game. Have you seen those videos that people do where it's like, revisiting Xenoverse 1 after how many years? It's weird. You, you, you don't go back to Xenoverse 1. They did not refine the gameplay at all. And you know, it was cool when it came out, but, but now? 
Nah, just, just no. Taco C, and that's being generous. Xenoverse 2, however. Xenoverse 2. Why is this game not dead? This game has lived for so long, and I don't know how. What, what do I even say about this game? It's good. It's an MMO, which is not really my style, which is why I stopped playing it, because I, I just didn't want to keep up with all the damn content updates. I just wanted the game to be finished. But it never was. And I don't think it will be. This game will live forever. But the whole structure and everything, and on the story, and blah 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 blah... I can't not give it an A. I can't. You know? People really enjoy this game. People grind the shit out of this game. I gotta give it somewhere an A. Okay. Nah, that's that's where I gotta put it. I don't enjoy it more than Raging Blast. I I do not. But it's pretty damn lucky it got that high in the first place. That is my thoughts on the universe too. Okay, what's next? Fighters? That's an immediate Z. Are you fuck? Are you kidding me? Are you smoking? You smoking dong? You smoking dong? Fighters is an immediate Z. What are you talking about? I don't even play 2D fighters like that. Do you see the game? Do you see everything about it? It's it's the definition of a Z rank. Like damn. Yeah, even, yeah, even above Tenkaichi 3. This is one of the best Dragon Ball games in history. And I don't think I'm wrong on that. I want anybody to try to refute me in the comments. Tell me why Fighters isn't one of the best. Tell me, I want to know. All right, what's next? We got uh, Krakarot. Crack a crack a lack of rot. Um, this game is pretty damn good. It's the first one in a while that really went in depth on everything. You know, it's in fact it's one of the few games where you can actually play the 23rd World Tournament. When you think about it. Like, what other games do you do you play that section? It's got literally everything Z you could possibly want to play. All the sagas, History of Trunks, Bardock, the World Tournament, uh, End of Z? End of Z is playable. That's really damn cool. And I don't think it's done. I'm pretty sure there's another season that they're gonna do, which I don't... I don't actually know what it'll be. It'll either be Super or GT. And between you and me, I really hope it's GT, because GT has not had a game that goes through its story at all. There was, um... Let's see, is it on here? Is it on here? It might be. Do I see it? Yes, there it is. Transformation. That was the only one that GT had that kind of went through its story, and even then it didn't finish it. And that was made by the legacy of Goku people, so you know it was pretty good. So I hope I hope Kakarot gets the uh, its new season as GT. While Super would make more sense, I don't care. Just do Dragon Ball Super Kakarot. Or do a season four. GT needs love. That's a, that's what I'm trying to say. All right, where do I put this? I 
I will put it top of A. I really, really like this game. While the gameplay may not be like that intricate or complicated or whatever, it doesn't need to be. It's basically a fan service game. You want it to go through the entire story, you know, and it's got the cool side quests that further expound on, like, launch and people like that. It's, it, it's a fan service game. It does really good what it does. Also, there's a card, a card mode. I didn't touch it whatsoever, so you can give your opinions on the card mode in the comments, because I, I didn't play it, because I'm not a card person, like I've said. All right, what the hell? Where the fuck do I put you? Dragon Ball Z for Connect. Do y'all remember the Connect? I do. This game was weird as hell. This game... Uh, huh. First game where Super Saiyan Bardock short showed up. That's true. Nah. Just, just no. Just, just no. Just no. No, thank you. Not, not touching that. Alright, is this Dragon Ball Online? I didn't play this one, because it didn't come to America, and the servers are shut down. So, what the hell do I even say about it? Uh, uh from what I saw, it was, it was most certainly an MMO. It... Yeah, and it had it had the beginning of all the Xeno stuff, like Toa and Mira and all them. But I I didn't play it. I have no opinion on it. I really don't. It's it's cool that it existed, but I didn't play it. I could I can't play it. So that's yeah, sad to say. Dokkan. I'm gonna be real with y'all, right now. Why do people play Dokkan? I... I don't get it. I really... I really don't. It's sure it's got every character you could possibly imagine under the sun. But the gameplay? The reason you play the game that's not just summoning? That shit trash! That looks boring as hell! It's like, I don't, I don't even know what to compare it to. It's just mobile game the game with a Dragon Ball skin. Like sure, it's got cool OST, it's got cool animations, but the gameplay itself, you know, if the game was just summoning, sure, I might bump it up higher, but the gameplay is so boring. Why do people play this? How has it lasted this long? I, I... I don't... I don't get it. It's going... I guess I'll give it D. I'll put it... I'll put it above Sockers. Why not? And that's me being generous. I... I don't get it. Please try to enlighten me. I... I wanna know. I wanna know why. Legends, on the other hand, ooh baby. This is how you do a mobile game. It's got the summoning, it's got the gacha, it's got all the bullshit. But you can actually play a fighting game. You can actually... There's gameplay, there's strategy, there's, you know, there's stuff to do. You can actually play this. Whatever the hell that is. Now, where do I put it? Because, hmm, it is a mobile game. But it is pretty fun. Hmm. I think I think it goes there. B above Battle Z. I think uh 
Yeah, I think I think that works for me. Okay, so now I think we just got a whole a whole bunch of handheld ones. All right, let's try to speed through this. What's this? Is that Supersonic Warriors one? Uh, it's all right. I'll give it a C. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it. I'll, I'll give it there. Advanced Adventure, pretty pretty damn good. Personally, better than Revenge of King Piccolo in my opinion. I'm gonna give it an A. I'll give it an A above the Budokai's. It's a really good platformer beat 'em up, and it tells the whole Dragon Ball story. It's, it's pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. I like it. What's this one? I, I can't... I literally can't tell what this one is. Collectible card game? That's a thing? I... No opinion. I... I didn't know this thing existed. What? A collectible card game on the on the GBA? Uh, okay. Sure. What's this one? Oh wait. No, 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 no. This is Super Sonic Warriors. This is Legendary Super Warriors. Another card game. That bumps it down to there. Super Sonic Warriors goes there. All right, what's this one? Uh, Taiketsu. <laughs> Get this fucking thing off my screen! Be banished to the Shadow Realm, you nasty thing! Ugh, brother. Ugh. For for fifty thousand subscribers, I'll play Taiketsu. We're never getting to 50,000 subscribers. But if we somehow do, mark my words right here in this video. You can, you can quote me on that, even though it will not happen. All right, what's this one? Uh, Legacy of Goku 1. Ooh, baby. All right, let me just get the whole Legacy of Goku line up here. This is technically the same people, so I, I count it. All right, the whole Legacy of Goku line are goaded. They are. So, I'm gonna give Legacy of Goku one. Um, I will give it above Advanced Adventure. Then Legacy of Goku two will go above Raging Blast two. Boo's Fury will go in Z. And then uh, Transformation will go... It'll go bottom B. Pretty good for what it had, but... Also, it's not an RPG anymore, it's a beat-em-up, but same people, same kind of quality. You can unlock, like, Oob and all of them to play as. It's pretty cool. So yeah, that is, that is where I put the legacy of Goku. Pretty, pretty damn go-to. All right, what's this one? That's Haru Kanaru Densetsu. I, I can't say I know this one. I don't, I don't know what this one is. And since it's a Japanese name, I'm gonna guess it never came to America. So, do not know. This one. That's Super Sonic Warriors 2. I'm um, giving that above the first one. Let me put it there. Because it was a pretty, pretty big step up from the first one. It's pretty good. Dragon Ball Origins. And let me get Origins 2. Um. These games are weird. They're, they're weird. They play, like, entirely with the touch screen. I tried it. Um, no. Nah, not for me. 
so I will put them you know just for benefit of the doubt I'll put them top of D but like I myself would not be able to finish playing them I'm sure some people like them though so uh, I don't know this uh, attack of the sands yes it is yes it is this is another RPG kind of thing with just the Saiyan Saga. I'm pretty sure it's like a turn-based RPG. Pretty cool, but it's just the Saiyan Saga. So, and they never made a sequel or nothing, so it's going, it's, uh, yeah, it's going there. Sad to say, but, you know, it, not, not much there to, to comment on. What is this one? Oh, wait, that's uh, Ultimate Butoden. This one? This one's pretty damn cool. This was made by Arxis, who, if you don't know, made fighters. At least I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this was made by Arxis, if I'm remembering correctly. Anyway, 2D fighter. Uh, basically every character under the sun at this point. This was like Battle of Gods time. And there's also a One Piece game, I think it was Battle Coliseum. And uh Wait a minute. Am I thinking of the right one? Am I, am I thinking of the right one? No. No, I'm not. I'm I'm thinking of I'm thinking of that one. It's like e extreme Butoden. I don't know at this point. There is there's a lot of these. That I just, I just don't, I just don't know. Hmm. Okay, hang on. These are heroes. Okay, so what is, what is this one? Huh. Gang, I can literally not tell you the difference between these two. There's Ultimate Butoden, and then there's Extreme Butoden, I'm pretty sure. And I'm pretty sure Extreme Butoden was the one that that did uh, crossplay with the One Piece game. If you had One Piece Battle Coliseum or whatever, you could fight Dragon Ball people. It's pretty damn cool. But I I don't know what the difference is between these two. So I'm just gonna give them the same rank because I'm pretty sure these are in the same series. Let me just let me just give them the same rank, uh, which will be bottom of A. That seems right to me. I'm not sure, but there, there's those two. We're coming down to the end. So now we got rapid fire, three Dragon Ball heroes on the 3DS. Uh, I think just by, you know, process of association, I have to just do this. Oh, wait, no, hang on. Because, you know, Heroes 1, Heroes 2, Heroes X, Heroes Switch. And you, I already said my thoughts on Heroes, so they, they, gotta, they gotta go in that order. Yeah. Heroes is cool fan service, but I just I don't play card games like that. Okay, coming down to the wire. Fusions. Dragon Ball Fusions. I have a soft spot in my heart for this game. It has a really, really good concept. And I think it did it pretty well. The gameplay fighting is a little, but mostly I I had fun with this one, so I'm gonna put it A. Um, above Xenoverse. I think that is a fitting position for Fugitives. All right, now we've got the Shin Budokais. Um, I didn't play these ones. 
but they're they're Budokai on the PSP. So I think just with that, they gotta go up high. I think uh I think yeah, I'll just put them right above the other Budokai tubes. No, I don't really have much thoughts on them, but it's Budokai, so I'm pretty sure they were good. Alright. What the hell did I do? even going to speak its name into existence because it doesn't deserve it. I don't care what the game actually was. You're never going to hear me talk about this. Abomination. Okay, Tenkaichi Tag Team. The last one. Where do I put Tenkaichi Tag Team? It is a Tenkaichi. It's a little weird. But I think mostly it was, it was fine. Would I say it's better than any of the console ones? Nah. So I think just by that, I gotta put it right there. Right below, Tenkaichi 1. Uh, okay. And I'm pretty sure that was all of them. And all that I knew. So this is the complete list. That, uh, that looks pretty right to me, and I'm pretty sure Sparking Zero will join the pantheon of, of Zs, but we'll just have to see when it comes out. Alright, and I think with that, I will end it there. I'm player one, and I'll see you next time in something else. Bye-bye.